Hello, so how can effects be polyphonic and is this really a game changer? And the answer is it's basically like multi-channel audio. So what we're doing is we're running multiple copies of the same effect in one cable. And if you think about hardware, say you use pedals, like this Boss Flanger for example, and you plug it into your amp, I'm using guitar here, you can use anything else. And then let's say you've got three of the same pedals and you've connected them up in parallel. So you somehow split your guitar lead and you've managed to plug in three at once. But using BCV, you can use four or five or anything up to 16 copies of the same pedal at once. And because modulation can be polyphonic as well, that's like being able to change every control on every pedal all at the same time. To do this, we use a module called Polymalt by Bog Audio. And what this does is it copies a monophonic signal onto up to 16 channels. Hello, so let's have a look at how this works. I've got a huge patch here with all my favorite effects at once. Uh, this is my dry guitar sound. And I'm gonna go through these uh, one at a time. Um, I'll zoom in so you can see the modules and edit out the bits where I'm zooming in and out. Okay, so the first effect is just two modules and it's a filter modulated by an LFO in random mode. And the uh, filter is in phaser mode. So it's kind of like a step phaser. And it sounds like that. Okay, and this is the polyphonic version. I'll just allow it to decay for a second. You get this kind of droplets, like a kind of water effect. Now, I absolutely love that, I find it mesmerizing. So you can see there's a few extra modules here. So we've got polymalt, which is copying the signal. So we've got one channel in, and you've got 16 channels coming out. The second module is polycon. Um, this is just sending out static values on each channel. And um, when you put that into the um, bolt per octave input of the LFO, it makes the LFO polyphonic. So you can see we've got 16 outputs from the LFO as well. And they're going to this filter. So we've basically got 16 filters at once. Okay, so let's do the next one. So again, here's a simple version, and this is just two modules, and it's an LFO driving a comb filter. And it sounds like this. Uh, it's almost impossible to play when it goes too low and you get the kind of um, delays instead of the, the flanging. So at that stage, it's quite nice, and then you get this kind of detuned delay effect on it when it goes a bit lower on the LFO, which I quite like, but... Uh, it's a little bit much. Anyway, let's look at the polyphonic version. Okay, so this time I've got a few more modules because there's some slightly more complicated modulation, um, which I'll try and explain later. Uh, but now it sounds like this. So again, it's really random and you never know exactly 
what it's going to do when you're playing it's a bit like having someone else controlling the effects while you're playing but they're really drunk and they're just smashing all the faders on the mixer okay let's do the next effect okay so here we've got uh, instant delay which is a premium module uh, it's like a granular delay um, so you can change the um, delay time without affecting the pitch and it's just going into a, a low pass filter okay and this is the polyphonic version So as you can tell, it's just loads of delays at once into loads of filters. So making it polyphonic just gives you a thicker sound with more stuff going on at once. Just bring the delay time down a bit. And um, we also get a nice kind of phasey effect with the uh, all the different filters going at once. Okay, so the next one's really simple and it's just ring modulation. Uh, you will probably know what that sounds like. Um, you just got a VCO going into um, this rectify module here from Bog Audio. Uh, you can obviously change a few parameters on there, but that's the basic sound. Then this is the polyphonic ring mod version. There you go, same principle. So it's just uh, you've got uh, the VCO here and we've made the modulation polyphonic. So you've effectively got 16 different frequencies going into the, uh, the ring modulator. Um, yeah, I really like that one. OK, so this one is Chaos. We've got the, um, the flanger and the frequency shifter from Surge XT. Uh, one thing with these modules, you need to right click anywhere in the middle and change that from monophonic stereo onto polyphonic stereo processing. Um, I've not done a mono version of this because you probably get the idea by now. Uh, but the frequency shift has got some quite extreme kind of delay on it. And yeah, this just makes some ridiculous sounds. That's probably more useful for kind of special effects rather than actually playing in the air, anything musical. Okay, so let's do one more example, and this one's using the Air Windows plugin. 
Again, you need to change this to polyphonic. There's a load of different modes, which I've not read up on. Doesn't seem to make a huge difference. Um, and this is using tape delay with the um, time being modified by a, a square wave LFO, which is just coming from a, another module off screen. And what I've done is I've just manually tuned this. So obviously the square wave is stepping between two different levels. And I've tuned it so the higher level is roughly an octave up. So it sounds like this. It's also going through this um, fixed filter bank here. Um, and that's obviously, it's polyphonic processing, but the filter bands themselves aren't poly. And um, what I've done there, I've used a, another poly LFO. And this is going into the CV map module. And then that's kind of using the multiple channels to drive each filter band. So you can see where they're mapped. You can see the knobs turning up and down automatically, which is quite nice. And uh, it just gives a nice kind of um, spacey kind of delay vibe. And yeah, that's one of my favourites. Welcome to Jazz Club. Okay, so let's do some patch from scratch and have a look at how this works. So I'm running Neural Amp Modeler here, uh, which is a, a plugin for a bit of guitar tone. I'm actually not using an amp sim. I've just got the um, Impulse IR for a, a cab sim. So if I just turn this off for a second, that's like the dry sound. And then that's just giving it a bit of guitar tone. I'll just close that down for a second. So if I get the polymalt module, so if I just connect this up to the input, I'm using red cables for audio and purple for CV for some reason. And then if I turn that up to 16 and get a filter, so I'm going to use the F2 filter. I'm going to turn the limiter off because that's insane. So if I connect that up now, you can see on the tooltip, I hold the mouse over. You've now got 16 channels coming out instead of one. And obviously that makes it louder because you copied it 16 times. So I'm going to get another module called um, Ass Spreader. And this has got a volume control in, so I'm going to take that down. And then I'm going to plug this into a spare mixer channel. And let's have channel 14. Just solo that. Okay, and there's no modulation on that, so that's not sounding particularly good. Um, you've got the filter there, so if I just grab an LFO, I like to use the Bog Audio one because it's got offset and scale built in. So if I get a sine output and then just modulate the cutoff frequency. So now we've got 16 channels, but they're all doing the same thing. So it's kind of pointless. It doesn't make much difference. So what we need to do next is we need to make this polyphonic. Um, there's a few modules you can use to do this. So I always used to use Polycon. So what this does is it just gives you 16 different values and it just out, outputs a static value. Um, but I've started using another module instead from the Bisset collection or Bisset maybe, if it's French. Um, and this is a kind of similar idea. If I actually just get a scope uh, so I'm going to use this polyphonic scope here. And if I connect up the output, 
So you can see you've got 16 different values on the scope. And then this offset here just changes the, the kind of range. So I want a fairly small range. So you can see that's going from zero volts to about half a volt. That's perfect. And if I just take the output into the volt per octave input on the LFO, you can see that's now made the LFO polyphonic as well. So it's effectively like 16 different LFOs. So what we've done now, we've effectively made that into um, 16 filters um, driven by 16 separate LFOs. So it's basically the same idea. It's just a guitar into a filter, but you've just made it more complex. And really it's the same as doing this, just duplicating it and getting loads and loads of filters. But obviously you don't want to have to bother patching all those in. So we've just made a load of filters on, on one module. So obviously this doesn't work for all effects. It wouldn't make any sense for things like reverb or distortion. Um, but I find it tends to work really well for any kind of filter or modulation effects like flanges, um, phasers, that kind of thing. And obviously you can stack effects as well. So I've already done um, granular delay into the um, filter. Uh, if we get the comb filter again, so I'm going to use res comb. And then let's modulate that. Then I'm going to go into the comb filter first. And then turn this down a bit. Right, let's turn up the feedback. Turn it down a bit more, maybe. Uh, I'll just zoom in again so you can see what's going on. And there you go, instant weirdness. Um, and you can just keep stacking effects up um, and just put loads of polyphonic effects into each other. As long as the module you're using is polyphonic, obviously this only works with poly modules, and just stack them up and uh, see what it can create. So yeah, thanks for watching.